Hey y'all, it's your girl Maria, and we are back with more reactions today. Yes, we are. It's gonna be great. Okay, um, so this is another Eminem song, and I pulled up the lyrics for this one. It's featuring Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Exhibit, and Nate Dogg. And I remember Exhibit, but not as a rapper. I remember him from like a car show where they like souped up cars and they did all kinds of these crazy things with cars. What was it called? Um, was it? I don't, was it called Pimp My Ride or was it called West Coast Customs? Anyway, I remember seeing him on that show. So I, I guess I wasn't aware that he was a rapper, but we're gonna, um, I'm gonna hear a rap today. I've never heard a rap. So yeah, this one is, yeah, I'm not saying that out loud, but it's Itch Please <laughs> 2. <laughs> I guess there's a part one to this, but I got two, so we're going to hear that. And I pulled up the lyrics because I want to be able to follow along. Plus, I found that the lyrics tend to be uncensored, which is great. Um, I don't know if there's a video to this. I didn't see a video to this. So I'm going to go with this one and hope and pray for the best here. <laughs> but you guys already know if you want to show love and support, I link ways for you to do that in the description box below. Make sure you check it out at the very least for the artist. Help them grow their channel. Um, yeah, let's get started. Yeah, what up, Detroit? No, uh, no, uh, no, no, he didn't. Uh -huh. They didn't do it again. What? What? Why'd you shit on these niggas two times, Dr. Uh -huh. Dre? Oh, for sure. Uh -uh. No. You smell that? This is special right here. What? 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 Yeah. what? It's a toast to the boogie, baby. Uh, to the boogie, oh. boogie, boogie. Yeah. Yeah, no. What's cracking, Dre? Right? Hold on. Like, there was so much said and nothing said at the same time in that, like, first 20 seconds. <laughs> What did any of that mean? The only thing I really, really understood is that he played with someone tw two times in a row and then asked him what's up. And everything in between was like, blah, 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 blah. I, don't, I almost felt like the um, Charlie Brown adults and rah, rah, rah. I don't know what any of that meant. <laughs> but we're going to continue. There was a, that was a whole lot of nothing right there. This is special right here. It's a toast to the boogie baby, the to the boogie oogie oogie. Like, I don't even know what that means. If, it, if that actually has like a specific meaning, let me know in the comments. Don't come at me. Just let me know because I truly don't understand what any of that meant. <laughs> What's cracking, right? Just let me lay back and kick some old simplistic pimp shit on slim shit. Start rise like limp bitch. Stone guilty conscience at concerts and watch mosh pits. Some motherfuckers knock each other unconscious. Some of these crowds that slim draws is Roddy as Crenshaw. Boulevard when it's packed and full of cars. Some of these crowds me and Snoop draw is niggas from Crenshaw. From Long Beach to South Central. Knock these niggas again. These grown ass ignorant men with hair triggers again. You and what army could harm me. D.R.E. and Shady with Doggy from Long Beach. It came a long nice. way to making these songs play. It'll be a wrong move to stare me the wrong way. I got a long ooze and I carry it all day. Sometimes it's like a nightmare to be an Andre. But I somehow, some way, hello, nigga. You know what Bob Dog is. Now let me cut these niggas up and show them where the fuck I'm coming from. I get the party cracking from the shit that I be spitting, son. Hit and run, get it done. Get the fun, split and run. Got about 50 guns. And I love all of them the same. Bang, bang. Damn, baby girl, what's your name? What's your I name? forgot what you say it was. Damn, a nigga buzz. Hanging in the club with my nephew Eminem. What's up, what up cuz? The great white American hope. Uh -huh. Then hooked up with the king of the motherfucking West, West Coast, baby. And you don't really want to fuck with me. Only nigga that I trust is me. Fuck around and make me bust. They always want to change. I'm the head nigga in charge. I'm watching you move. You're found dead in your garage with 10 o'clock news coverage. Gotta love it because I exposed the facade. Your little lungs is too small to hot box with God. Whoa, that's exhibit. I, I don't think I was expecting him to sound like he sounds hard. Does he sound like that in all of his songs? I gotta hear that again, y'all. I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting that. I was kind of like amazed. They always want to change. I'm the head nigga in charge. I'm watching you move. You're found dead in your garage with 10 o'clock news coverage. Gotta love it because I exposed the facade. Your little lungs is too small to hot box with God. All 
jokes aside, come bounce with us. Standing over you with a 12 gauge, about to bust. It's like ashes to ashes and dust to dust. I might leave in the body bag, but never in cuffs. So who do you trust? They just not rugged enough. When things get rough, I'm in the club shooting with pump. Bitch, please, you must have a mental disease. Assume the position and get back down on your knees. Oh, and you don't really want to fuck with me. Only nigga that I trust is me. Fuck around and make me bust. The devil, they always want to change. And you don't really want to fuck with me. Only nigga that I trust is me. Fuck around and make me bust this heat. The devil, they always want to change. Okay, this is my really um naive and unknowing uh side coming out. Bust this heat, does that mean sh shoot a gun? <laughs> because I hear the gunshot after, so I'm assuming that's what it means. Um, there's so much with this song being said. And, and all of it makes sense and none of it makes sense. It's, it's, I don't even know. Like, it, to me, it sounds like a song about, you know, people wanting to cause trouble and these are, this group of guys are saying, you don't want, no, don't come look up for trouble or you'll find it. And, and they're kind of like given their, their warning shots on that. Um, might leave in a body bag, but never in cuffs. I don't ever think it's that serious. <laughs> I don't ever think anything is worth that kind of a decision. Um, unless you're, you're doing it to protect a loved one. You know what I mean? Like, it's a lot to be said about some of these, <laughs> some of these lyrics. My goodness. All right. <laughs> let's, let's keep going. It's a lot to get through on this, isn't it? Oh no, big slim dog, 80 pound ball, what? thick six inch long, back up in the easy baby, he shaded, he's so crazy, <laughs> give me the mic, let me recite to Timothy White, he gets outside, he gonna scope offices every night, what if he's right, I'm just a criminal, making a living off of the world's misery, what in the world gives me the right to say what I like, and walk around flipping the bird, living the urban life like a white kid from the bird, screaming at night and screaming at mom, scheming to leave, run away from home and grow to be as evil as me, I just want you ought to notice me and people to see that somewhere deep down is a decent human being in me it just can't be found so the reason you've been seeing this me is because this is me now the recent dude who's being this me so when you see me dressing up like a nerd on tv or heard the cd using the fag word so freely it's just me being me here want me to tone it down suck my fucking dick you faggot you happy now look at it i start some trouble everywhere that i go, that I go. I'll, I'll rewind it a little bit but you know in that verse, there he he's saying something quite interesting. It's like y'all just think I'm mean, but I'm I'm really not. He he's definitely someone who's been through a lot of stuff in his life, and when I in, in the songs that I've heard, even with the humor, even with the sarcasm, even with the you know spicy language, <laughs> um, you know it's he's not saying anything that isn't true a lot of his songs have a lot of depth to them actually and not a lot of people appreciate that they don't appreciate the level of depth that he has when he's seeing these verses because he kind of glosses it over with like with sarcasm or jokes or you know doing the crazy things on his videos that he does like but if you really listen to a lot of what he's saying, he's not wrong. And that's that's what he's what he was just saying here, you know? And he's like, well, screw you if you can't see it. I, I'm not even mad at him for it. It's on it down. Suck my fucking dick, you faggot. You happy now? Look at it. I start some trouble everywhere that I go. I go. Ask the bouncers in the club because they, they know. I start some shit that throw me out the back door. The back door. Come back and shoot the club up with a fofo. -fo. Oh. And you don't really uh. want to fuck with me. Only nigga that I trust is me. Fuck around and make me bust this heat. The devil, they always want to change. And you don't really want to fuck with me. Only nigga that I trust is me. Fuck around and make me bust. They always want to change. 2001 and forever. Slim Shady, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, X to the Z, Nate Dogg. Come on, yeah. Interesting.
So I wanted to finish off that musicality because I think it sounds really, it sounds like laid back and like just easy listening. And then you hear the song and it's like, um, not really. This is, this song is kind of like the, the F around and find out song. <laughs> That's kind of like what I feel like it is, but it is. Yes, baby. Come here. Sorry, one of my kitties wants to make an appearance. Um, but yeah, like I, I, the song is, <laughs> all the other verses from Dre, Snoop Dogg, Exhibit, Nate Dogg, all of them, um, they all had something to say, but not nearly as profound as the way Eminem just said it. You know, like you, you think you know me, you think I'm like the kid that grew up in the suburbs. No, like he wasn't. He had, he had a rough upbringing. And so, um, and generally he's a good person but he just has his way of expressing himself and people don't seem to get behind the way that he does it because you know there are people who's like well there's better ways to do that but if you've been you know if you've been in an environment where things have always been rough that is what you've adapted to and that's how you become but it doesn't make you a bad person I can't tell you how many people I've met in my life that they are some of the nicest people, some of the kindest people, and yet you wouldn't, like at first glance, you would not think so. You would actually be kind of like either scared or intimidated by them. And um, I, I kind of learned that early, early on, like you don't want to judge a book by its cover. And, and it goes with work industries, with personal relationships, with, you know, just your surroundings. You never know who's who's who exactly sometimes people can look intimidating because of where they grew up they had to and that's not who they are and people just kind of categorize them and cast them into this one box and I said it earlier um today actually that we all get typecasted into one box based on where we come from who we are what our ethnic is what our religion is whatever the case may be and it's wrong to do that because we you know we really ought to be in community with one another anyway I really liked it it was definitely interesting an interesting song the very very first part of that song like that first 20 seconds I don't know what was being said there somebody let me know but also if you like the content you know what to do description box below like comment share subscribe um, in the meantime live your lives fabulously and I will see y'all on the next one bye